uh, we turn to a main program that is the demonstration of Ikebana art of flower arrangement. That is recreating nature in a container. I'm happy to introduce today's speaker and my good friend, Jarna Parekh, who has degree in chemistry and law, but has great interest in nature. Jarna is an expert in various styles of flower arrangements. She has vast experience in this field and has displayed beautiful art in various seminars and shows. Some of us have met her and attended her demonstrations of Western flower arrangement at Friends of Trees shows that is held every year the, in the month of February. Until recently, she was conducting hobby classes in flower arrangement at all the three branches of Arya Vidya Mandir, from where Aishwarya Rai comes. Huh? I'm sure she will continue the same when the schools reopen after the pandemic is over. Jarna had told me that she got inspiration from her grandmother, who had beautiful collection of vases at home in her childhood. <laughs> Regular supply of fresh flowers at her residence prompted her to take up this art. She also conducts online geography classes, giving lessons using creative teaching aids to school children. Apart from it, Jarna loves bird watching and cooking. In fact, some of you may remember uh, when we had a cooking competition at this platform of MEP, uh, fermented food. That time, Jarna had received a Nachni Dosha recipe award for the entry, first award. Jarna is well traveled, particularly her visit to Japan must have given her wide perspective about her favorite art, this Ikebana. This is creating nature in a vase. Jarna, for you, we are very much eager to see your demonstration today on behalf of IFSA and all of us present here. I welcome you to this session. Jarna, you can start your presentation. The screen is yours now. Jarna, please. First of all, thanks to IFSA for giving me this opportunity. Uh, under your support and encouragement, it is helping me a lot to grow in this art. And uh, it's uh, very, very nice of you to give me this opportunity. Now, every year I have been doing Western arrangement, but this year I'm doing Ikebana. So, Western arrangement, we, we put many flowers and we put in different shapes and everything, but Ikebana is different. The art of uh, Ikebana is like, you know, observing nature very keenly. What are the shapes of the flowers? What are the colors of the flowers? What flower will look nice with what leaf? How to put it in a container? Which container it will look nice in? So we observe all these things and we collect the material and we create nature in the container. Again. So we say in Ikebana, we do not disturb nature while doing these arrangements. That means we are recreating nature. The way material grows in nature, we recreate in the container. Now, the first arrangement is like I have got dry material over here and which is painted. These are like uh, the thin bamboo uh, lines and they are painted. And I have got roots over here. I have uh, used roots in the arrangement. Uh, roots of a plant which have been bleached and I have combined zanadu leaves and orchid with uh, it and I have created the arrangement. So this is my, and this purple orchid and uh, this material I have used and I have created this arrangement. So this is my first arrangement. Now the next arrangement I have done with the bird of paradise. Now bird of paradise is a very beautiful flower. It has got lovely orange color. But the stem of the bird of paradise has got no leaves or anything. So, but uh, and whenever we put flowers in the arrangement, we put them in such a way that they talk to each other. 
So these birds of paradise they have to face each other in the arrangement also because in nature the flowers, the material they are always communicating with each other. The way he communicates, they also communicate with each other. They encourage each other, support each other. And uh, so when we put in the arrangement also, we have to put in such a way that the flowers talk to each other. Now you can see the flowers that are coming over here and coming over here and kept them very close. Now the stems of the bird of paradise is, is not no leaves. So to create the, uh, to fill up that uh, uh, place, I have used palm leaves and um, chrysanthemums to create the arrangement. With orange bird of paradise, I have used white chrysanthemum and I have used table palm and I have created the arrangement. While creating Ikebana arrangements, we make use of pin holders. So this is uh, the way I have created the arrangement. Now we go to the next arrangement. So Ikebana works with a lot of rules and regulations. Like they have specifically designed containers, they have specifically designed vases and flowers, how to put that. So on basis of that, we can learn Ikebana, we can pursue Ikebana. But Ikebana arrangement, so they have give, given some, uh, something different also. They have given us freestyle arrangement. Now what is freestyle arrangement? Freestyle arrangement is something in which we can stop the nature. So the way the flowers or leaves grow in nature, so while doing freestyle arrangement, we can turn them, we can twist them, we can curl them, we can put a split in the leaves and we can use it in the arrangement. Especially the kevda leaves that come and then the dressina leaves. We can just fold them and we can use in the arrangement. And while doing freestyle arrangement, we keep knowledge of our own basic styles while creating this freestyle arrangement. We can also use broomsticks while doing this freestyle arrangement. So they gave us a wide choice of material for doing freestyle arrangement. So over here I have so over here I have created a freestyle arrangement. I have put over here wire in the arrangement. I will remove the flowers and I will show you the wire. I have put electrical wire in the arrangement and I have twisted and turned the wire and I have tried to fill up uh, the vase that I have and um, like it kind of gives us you know a different look to the vase and gives us the space in which we can put the uh, flowers. So uh, this I have created, I have put uh, flowers, uh, wire over here and I have put two lines of chrysanthemum over here. Now the way I have put two lines is like the way we do uh, uh, straight uh, material, is it straight and how we put, I have used knowledge of that style for creating this arrangement. And then I have added some leaves, fern leaves on the side and I have completed this arrangement. I have used chrysanthemum over in the winter season. Plenty of flowers of chrysanthemums are available with the florist and they have got beautiful colors and everything. So chrysanthemum is a flower that we use most in winter in our city. The availability is very good. Now over here, I am doing this arrangement. I am using this container over here. This is this container is like from my crockery collection. It's just a play. Earlier, Ikebana uh, Japanese people used to design vases for every style. So they used to have specifically designed vases for every style and everything. Now they have tried to realize, try to reduce those rules. And they allow you to use 
container of tennis that is there in your house. So if you have a plate or a thali or something, a nice plate, nice thali or something in which you which can hold water, then you can use it for creating this kind of arrangement. And we use spring holder for doing this arrangement. So I'm putting the spring holder in the center of the container. So this is in the center of the container. Huh? And I'm doing the arrangement. Now I have got this material area over here. I've got this material Aurelia over here. Aurelia, you all have seen, it grows straight in nature as well as slanted. So, depending upon the shape of the arrangement, we can decide um, whether we are going to put it straight in the arrangement or we are going to put slanting in the arrangement. Now, over here, you all can see that this line is very straight in nature. So, I will put it straight in the container. Now, while putting in the container, I will take care that I will put it little behind. Why I will put it little behind is because it will give me space for putting other flowers in the arrangement. To add other flowers in the container. So technically they say put the first line, main line, little behind the half center of the pin holder. So I have put it little behind. Now to give little life to this line, I can bring it forward by 15 degrees. So that it looks like it moves a little and I will push it in the container. Now, some lines are very hard and they are very difficult to push in, but this line somehow went into the container. Now, after putting this area, after putting the area, I will think of what flowers I can combine with it. So, I feel roses can look nice in it. Since the lines are green, we can take either red roses, I can take orange roses, or I can take yellow or something, whatever is available. So red roses are available, so I've used red roses this time. We can even put carnations or something with this. So we have to see what material we are using. And with that material, what can look nice? So if I have got this area over here, then I would go for carnation or roses to combine with it. So carnations are not available, so I have put roses over here. Now this roses, rose I am putting over here in such a way that there is enough place over here to introduce other material. We have to put it at the base of the of the main line we have to. Now we have, we feel that this is two lines is not enough. So we feel that we need more um, uh, lines to put in this arrangement. So I am putting one more line over here. So now I am seeing, you know, whether it is looking nice on this side or whether it is looking nice on this side. So I think from behind, I feel it is looking nice over here. Actually, I am seeing the arrangement from behind. So I am doing little approximately. So I am putting it over here and then I am pushing it little in front over here. After putting these two lines, I feel there is little gap over here between this line and those. So, I am putting one more rose over here. Little behind this rose and little shorter than this rose. Now, they say, Ikebana, no, there should not be any lines of same length and angle. So, I am cutting a little short and I am trying to put this rose at a slightly different angle. Now, after adding this, I feel there is still a gap. So, 
and adding this rose over here and I am putting this rose over here and I am turning the rose towards the subject. Then after adding this flower, roses, I still feel I can add little more material. So I have got shingonium leaves over here. I think shingonium leaves, roses and aralia would make a nice combination. So I am adding little shingonium leaves over here. I will add one or two shingonium leaves over here. Because Ikebana arrangements are done with very few lines. So I'm adding the Shimona leaves And then I'm adding one more leaf over here, Shimona over here to fill up the gap. I'm not taking a very tall uh, leaf over here. I'm making a slightly short leaf over here. Because if I put very tall leaf of chingonium over here where it is available, it would not look very nice in the arrangement. So this is my first arrangement of Ikebana. This is known as rising form, where we put material growing straight in the container. Now we know that material can go st grow straight in the container. Plus, we have seen various branches, certain flowers. They look, they grow slanting also in the arrangement. So, like, uh, if we want to create any arrangement with this uh, slanting material, we have to um, put them in a different way, in a slanting way. Now, this material I have got over here is helicot. Now, heliconia we have seen. It is also called garden lane, heliconia. It comes in orange color, red color. This is little bit of orange and yellow, double color heliconia over here. It grows always with leaves and it grows both ways. It grows uh, straight also, it grows static also. So we can use this uh, heliconia straight also and we can use it slanting also. So over here, I am putting the heliconia static and I am bringing it in front over here. I will put it at an angle that looks nice. After putting this heliconia, I have to take care and I have to introduce the heliconia leaves also in the arrangement. Because Ikebana is very close to nature, so while doing Ikebana arrangements, I have to uh, take care. The way it is growing in the nature, I will put it in the same way in the container. After that, I feel that this line alone will not be able to bring out the beauty of the arrangement. So I am adding one more line at the base of heliconia and we have to keep it slightly short and in such a way that it looks part of the range. So then again I am adding leaf over here. Now I can use five heliconia over here or I can combine some roses or something with it. Roses, Jalbera or something, both can look nice. So over here, I have got roses. So I am adding roses over here. Now this rose has to be over here. It has to be placed at the base of the subject. And I have it orange again. The white is looking nice. So I have taken white. And then I feel that
again we feel that this part is empty, looking empty. So we have to create balance in such a way, we have to put the lines in such a way that the arrangement creates good balance. If we would, we can put sometimes over here, sometimes over here, sometimes over here. But since I have California, I am producing over here. I am turning it and putting it in such a way that it looks going towards the subject and talking to it. So I am putting it over here. And then I am introducing this leaf over here. Because Kikibana is very close to nature, so it will require that we put one leaf over here. Now we need to close this arrangement over here. So I'm putting two roses over here. So uh, we can add some more material to it, like daisy or something to it. But uh, because of the lockdown, the availability of material is not there. So I'm not adding any other material to it. I'm just waving it like that. Sometimes we can create a very simple arrangement. And um, like we did not add a lot of material to it. So we can put this kind of material also. Sometimes we are in a hurry and we don't have time to collect a lot of material, a lot of leaves. In that kind of situation, we can just use four five flowers and we can create the arrangement. Again, this we can take, use any container that is there at home and we can create this arrangement. Only thing is there should be water in the arrangement. Flowers can Madam Parik, Madam ah. Parik, just inter, uh, interrupting. Uh, the ikabana, if you can put it back on the table and then if you move out, move away for a little bit of time, then the ikabana will look very beautiful against the bright uh, black, that white oh, background. Sure, sure, so sure, the sure, previous sure. one, if you can show us again, we will appreciate it oh, even better. Oh, sure, sure. So sure. against the wall, it is looking very nice. Yes, okay. and now now if you just shift on your right or left for a little bit of well, like a yeah, second or I, two. Just the material a little and then I'm putting it. Because the, they are so beautiful arrangements, we'll be able to appreciate them against the background. And madam, where would you keep this arrangement? It is not possible to keep it on the dining table since we have to change the position of the vase. Yeah. So uh, these arrangements, uh, we keep in the corner. We keep corner. the Kibana arrangements normally yeah. in the corner of uh, the room. And uh, beautiful. Because uh, this... Um, this yeah, arrangement, yeah. most of the Ikebana arrangements will go in the corner of the room. Now and can you please show some, Madam, can you please show some arrangements in tall vases, vertical vases, if it's possible, please? Uh, today I have not planned that way. So I haven't got my any vertical vase outside. Yeah, now, that's can you see the yes. Excuse me, uh, yes. could uh, nobody uh, should interrupt in middle because recording is going on. Please, thank you. Okay. So. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Okay. center or in the corner. 
when we do this arrangement we either create it on the right side or we create it on the left side either we can create it on this side or we can create it on this side so when we are created on creating it on, the, on this side of the container we put the pin holders between the, like on a clock if you see between 7 and 8 like if you visualize this container as a clock then the pin holder this is 6 over here this is 9 over here the pin holders come between 7 and 8 and over here the pin holders will come between 4 and 5 so that is the guideline given for putting uh, pin holders for this kind of arrangement and this arrangement either can be created in a circular container or an oval container so when we are creating an oval container which i showed in the previous uh, arrangement <coughs> we put the pin holder at the corner of the arrangement corner of the container now over here this is a color scheme arrangement these arrangements have been created mm -hmm. under after second world war when the people were going from east to west and west to east so the western arrangement that were being created they were being created with flowers so now this arrangement some of, one more arrangement that i am going to show is giving importance to flowers. So this is a color scheme arrangement and I have used gladioli. Again, straight growing material can be used for these arrangements. So aregia can also be used for this arrangement and you all know more about plants than me. You can use dressina also for this arrangement and uh, like anything that grows straight in nature, sensitive area, all that you can over here, you can create very nice arrangement. But over here, I am using gladioli. Now, this is the season of flowers, so pink color gladiolis are available. I'm putting it over here, the main line I'm putting over here, and then little shorter than this, but looking towards it, I'm introducing the second. And then between them, I'm using one more line of gladioli. Again, this will everything will look towards the our main line. So this you can see over here that these three lines are there over here of gladioli on the side. Now I'm using again roses with this. Now, I have to put roses over here to complete the arrangement. And I am introducing the rose over here. It is a different arrangement. So, roses are introduced on one side and the main material is introduced on the other side. Now, only this much arrangement can also be enough. Like if I put this two lines over here. Then I can introduce one more line over here. This much arrangement is also like you can do. But if you feel no, something is missing over here, then we can introduce one tall filler over here. Now you can see this pink color is there over here, this peach color is there over here and this yellow color is there. 
So it's a color scheme arrangement. And I like creating this arrangement, giving color to the arrangement. So I have used light to blue. This is the upright, it is called upright style. And this is one arrangement over here. Beautiful. Right. Now this is uh, another arrangement which is also recently introduced in the sense that it has been introduced maybe some 15-20 years back or something under the influence of West. Earlier this kind of arrangements were not there. Again we wanted to introduce flowers in the arrangement because nowadays the thing is that it is difficult for everyone to get greens and everything. So people want to use cultivated flowers in the arrangement. So they have introduced this arrangement. And um, we can use flowers like orchid. We can use roses and that pink palm flowers that is coming. We can use all these flowers in the arrangement. And the way we put the material is either it can go clockwise or it can go <laughs> So I'm introducing these lines for me. I have kept three pin holders over here and uh, it's very different. Uh, first time I'm doing using creepers in the arrangement. I'm doing it for the first time because it gives a very different uh, look to the arrangement. So then I can introduce some lines over here. Then I can introduce some more lines over here. Then I'm introducing some more leaves over here so that the arrangement gets full. And uh, then now I will introduce some flowers over here at the base of the arrangement. Uh, these are green and white double color uh, uh, leaves. So I thought either yellow can look nice or red can look nice. So I thought of using yellow flowers in the arrangement. Now these flowers I can put like it is going in clockwise direction or in the same direction in which the material is moving. So I am putting it moving in the same direction as the material. Now I am putting one more line over here. Now there is one more. There is, I'm introducing one more line over here. Now I am adding one more chrysanthemum over here. And we have to create the arrangement in such a way that it creates balance in the arrangement.
and I'm going on introducing these flowers to the original. flower has also fallen down so I'm just picking it up and I'm putting this flower here Now to give color to this arrangement or to fill up this arrangement further, I would have used daisy or petals. But uh, because uh, this, um, they are not available, I am using little purple color over here. Another purple color chrysanthemum, which is not very correct. But I think I should give little color to the arrangement. Because normally we cannot use two colored flowers to the arrangement. And we can introduce this chrysanthemum I am introducing over here just to give little color to the arrangement. I will see if I can. So this is called Mawar or circular arrangement. And this arrangement can it is moving anti-clockwise. If you see this flowers, everything is moving anti-clockwise like this. And the flowers are also moving anti-clockwise. And adding little purple flowers to it is adding little color to the arrangement. And the arrangement looks little filled up. So these are my Ikebana styles. I'm just moving on the side so that you all can see the arrangement properly. Okay. So this yes. is Mawar. Yes, beautiful. Mawar. You, can, you can arrange all in a line against the white wall so that they are very visible. Beautiful. Can I arrange them again? Against the white yeah. wall. Against the white wall. Okay, so we will take little time. Uh, we will just take this one behind. We will take this table behind. We will move this arrangement for a while and we will move this table behind. Beautiful. So, can you see now? Yeah. 
we can see can you see Beautiful. all three arrangements over here yes yeah this is mamaru very nice